And this is Miss Red and White. Beautiful little girl. Man, they're getting big. They're four days old. Three days old, I'm sorry. Today I started the biosensor training techniques, which is all a part of the beginning of the pet therapy instruction. This is um, the biosensor techniques were created by the U.S. military in training their dogs, and it's been a proven fact that adding stress to their small young lives um, at this point helps to uh, have them adjust to stress a little better in the future. So we start at three days old, and this technique is done from day three until day 16. I'm just going to demonstrate to you. First we take a Q-tip and we just tickle in between their toes and you're going to find for a minimum of three seconds you're going to find, where are you going? that the longer we do this the more relaxed they're going to get with the procedure and we're going to hold down, this is called head erect position and we are going to turn them upside down which they don't like very well, she's doing very well And then we lay them in a supine position on their back, and I just try to get her to relax a little bit. This is a very submissive position for a dog that they don't like. One of my goals for every puppy that leaves here is to be able to relax and lay on its back comfortably and to trust you. And the fifth and final thing for the biosensor techniques is to place them on a cool, damp cloth. A little cold, she doesn't like that, and neither does Mama. Puppies at this age only have um, really three senses, and that is the sense to thermal differences, um, the sense of touch, and the sense of smell is very keen. So next week, um, or in a few days, I'll be adding some scents to the whelping box. Vanilla extract will be the first one for something sweet. They've already experienced some Clorox smells. Um, so by the time I leave her, they'll probably be exposed to a bunch of different things. And Mama is just being fantastic, keeping everybody clean. The other thing I start at this particular age is what I call a puppy massage. And again, it's the first day, they like to wiggle, but I take my hands across their nose and face, play with their ears a little bit, put my finger inside their mouth, rub their paws, she's not liking this too well, all the way down through her tail, back paws. And I am going to lay her on her back, and I am going to try to get her to relax. Shh, baby, baby. No, she can't hear me. It's okay. No, not today. All right, I don't want to stress you out. But my goal is to have her totally relaxed right here, sleeping on her back in the next few days. Today's only day one. I don't want to add too much um, too soon. They are all doing well. I just weighed them. They have all gained weight. Some of them are already at one and a half pounds, which is, <laughs> which are big puppies for four days old. Right, Faithy? You and Deb did a great job. I'm going to send you all the, bi or the website link to the biosensor techniques so you can read up on it on your own. But it makes a whole lot of sense to add some stress to puppies at a younger age so rather than waiting until they're eight weeks old when you take them home. So that by the time they leave Spirit Golden Retrievers, uh, they should be very confident pup puppies, curious, not afraid of too much of anything, very well socialized. Gemma's doing doing great. Uh, she had emergency C-section yesterday. She's a little under the weather today. Uh, pups are doing good. Um, we'll put the live video off for her in just a few days. I'm going to give her a chance to kind of get back into the sw swing of things. C-section is always kind of tough on mom, so um, we'll give them a couple days, but they're all doing great too. I never in a million years imagined we'd have 21 puppies here at the same time. It's an amazing, amazing miracles of life.